What's going on guys? It's getting to be that time of year. Halloween is coming right around the corner. So I figured I'd do a video on my top, I believe 23 animatronics that have come out for Spirit Halloween this year. Um, there might be 25 under their new animatronic tab. It only shows 23 if you go to the full animatronic tab and click sort to newest. It does give you two others being Miserable Marie and Punctured Pete. So. I didn't include those in this video, um, I think they're kind of average on both, but I'm going to go over the top 23 per their uh, animatronics tab that to, goes over the new ones for 2020, so obviously here we have the Butcher, he is my top number one. Uh, I think the voice, the sayings, the audio, everything matches really well with this character. I like how he's posable, um, in their pictures it shows cleaver in either hand so I think that's cool that you can do that um, the only real uh, it's not even really an issue but I'll say issue is that the apron is fairly clean it looks like it's got some blood maybe some blood stains on there that were washed um, or some dirt I think some fresh blood would have done that well I know that spirit uh, caters to a lot of younger people as well so maybe they didn't do that to uh, try not to scare them, but um, it's an easy fix. Just buy a bottle of blood and put it on there. So he makes my top uh, one for this year, <clears throat> and he is 199 at 6.3 feet. I'm not going to click you in all these; it'd take forever. But the next one is Uncle Charlie. Get a little closer there. Uh, I think overall, the costume, the outfit, everything matches really well. I think the voice matches, I wouldn't say better than the Butcher, but he was very close to being number one. Um, the voice and audio and sayings all really go well, really well with this one again together. And I think you're getting a very well-rounded animatronic for this guy. So at 210, yeah, 209 there, um, you're getting a really good animatronic for that guy. So he makes my top number two and then finding my number three here is the sewer varmint that's 130 uh, you have two fog ports which is nice the look of it overall I think is really good I think the only con may be the size of it it's I think 16 inches and yep 16 inches there and um, I have measured it out but I'd like to see it in person. It might be bigger than I think in person. It might be smaller. So that could be the only con that I can think of. Um, other than that, the audio and the movement is really good. And what I really like about this one is if it does break, because a lot of these props are made with plastic parts and they do tend to break. So if and when it does break, uh, you still have a good static prop that you can run fog through. So that one is number three. Number four, let's find him up here, is the Flesh Eating Zombie. He's an online only this year. Um, I don't know if they do that just because they have low stock or if there's not enough room in the stores. Uh, I really wish they would put them all in the stores, just find some space because um, for a lot of people, if you're gonna spend $200, $300 on something, you really want to see it move and talk in person and I think it would really boost their sales but I can get why they wouldn't put everything in there uh, I just like to see those in there but for that I probably won't get him but I think he is still really good for what you're getting overall um, the only thing I can think of maybe would be the eyes being green instead of a reddish orange uh, kind of like a zombie color but other than that that's kind of just nitpicking it um, he makes my top four there. He's also 200. Uh, the next one isn't really new, I'd say. But they're calling it new anyway, just because they did a recolor on there. And that is the Jumping Spider. Um, so for 50 bucks, I think this one is fantastic. Uh, it's relatively affordable for most people. Uh, what's nice about this is you're getting a jump scare, so most people get really scared by this. I have the full black version, 
still works great. Um, I take really good care of them. I haven't used them every year, but uh, again, it still works just like it did new. And you're getting a really good jump scare out of that one. So if you're looking for something to where you're not wanting to spend a whole lot of money, that's definitely a good option. Uh, and that is number five. Number six, if we go up here, is Mommy's Favorite. So that is $100. She's 3.8 feet. Uh, she has two sayings. Um, but for a hundred dollars, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, oh, there's not really a whole lot I can say negative about this. Um, it's got that creepy factor. The voice matches the character, so I think it's a pretty good prop. Um, and that is number six on the list there. Number seven, surprisingly is Johnny Punk. Now, a lot of people seem to not like this one. It seems to be on the bottom of the list for them. Um, I can get it, and at the same time, I don't. Um, I watch another YouTuber. Uh, his name is Haunt Former. If you haven't checked him out, go ahead and check him out and uh, give him a shout out. He was saying that it's not scary, the fact that he's on a swing. Um, I kindly disagree. I think the movement is weird. He moves where his upper body moves back and forth. I think it would have been better if his legs moved back and forth to where he was pushing off the ground back and forth swinging. Um, I like the whole punk kid thing with the clown mask. I think it's kind of creepy. Uh, I think they hit the mark on that one. Let's see what he made on the list. Let's see. He made top 10. He's number 7. Um, I think the price is pretty good for what you're getting. He has three different sayings. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below of Johnny Punk. He made my top 7. What did he make on your list? Alright, let's go to number 8. On the list here. And that is Fright in the Box. Um, I love the clown facade. Some people don't like it. Some people think it's overblown. Uh, I say, you know, if something's scary, stick with it. And clowns are typically one of those things that are always going to be scary. Um, $210, I think they're kind of trying to gouge you for 10 extra dollars, which is kind of lame. But it is what it is. It's three and a half foot high, I'm guessing. Um, I don't know, I'd like to see this in person to kind of see how big it is in general. I think the only thing they missed on this was having hands pop out as well. It's kind of weird that it's just a head. Um, but I think this is giving you a good jump scare as well, which is always something that's going to scare somebody. And I think the box not really showing that it's clown related could uh, give people the indication that a clown isn't going to jump out of there. So it could act actually extra or add extra scare to it so that one is number eight number nine is actually the only one of her kind in this one is twisted tina it's the only static prop which is good i like to see static props as well um not everything should be animated so i would have liked to have actually seen a little more of the static props this year but I'm happy with this one uh, the only thing negative I can say about it is the face is a little generic I feel like it's a vacuum form plastic kind of two dollar mask thing uh, so I might change that if I was to get it but I think uh, having this thing on the wall her arms do pose out and she'll still mount so you can either put this on the sidewall like she is now you can put her on the ceiling grabbing out at people I could actually see this in a professional haunt, so I really do like the uh, overall look and design of this prop. I think maybe having it at $89 would have been a little better, uh, just because of the face being so generic, but uh, overall I'm happy with it. Next up is Miss Mercy. So, oh, it's clicking on stuff now. Oh, slow internet. All right. Where 
mercy, 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 mercy. There she is, 199. So, Miss Mercy, um, I like the nurse facade that she's got going on. I think that's scary, kind of gives the vibe of Silent Hill. Um, I think the movement is probably the best out of this year with their head turning 360. Uh, I think that's really creepy. I think the audio matches with the bones cracking and everything. What I don't really get, and I'll quick view this so I can show you guys um, what I don't understand about this one or what I don't like. So she's got the bandage and some photos it seems like it's covering both eyes and this one is covering one. Um, I don't know if the lines underneath the eye are supposed to be like stitching, like her eyes were stitched closed or something. I don't really get that look. Uh, the face overall just doesn't really do it for me. And the fact that one of her eyes is closed and the other one are covered with the bandage and the other one isn't in this photo, but they're both... I don't know if they're stitched, whatever they were going for this. Uh, it just doesn't really make sense to me why her eyes are closed and they got the lines underneath. Um, I don't know if, if I get this, I feel like I'd have to do some makeup work on it or put a mask on it or something just because it doesn't, it just doesn't do it for me. But overall, I really do like this prop. Even with that, I think the uh, movement again is probably the best of this year, so. That is Miss Mercy. Moving on. It's all messed up here. All right, there she is, the Wailing Phantom. She's six feet tall. Uh, one of the more expensive props, uh, the highest price is 350 and there's a couple of them that are that price. Um, it's kind of dark on the screen there, but overall I think this is one of the most well-rounded props. I think the cutout on the bottom of the garb there is really cheesy. I think they could have done something where it wasn't, didn't match and look like slices of pizza on the bottom. Um, I really don't care for that. It's super generic super cheap looking um easy fix but for 350 dollars if i was to spend that i wouldn't want to have to fix anything on the prop so um i will say that it is a really good prop i think she's online only this year which kind of sucks there's some other ones that are also 350 that are not online only i don't know if they're going to put them in stores but i would much rather have seen her in stores than the other ones so uh, we'll go to the next one here, which is actually right down here. Clowning around. That's mm, second tallest one at seven feet. I think Krampus is actually a little taller. I think Krampus is seven and a half feet, but um, I love the look of this one. It's kind of going like a Terrifier the Clown look. I think the white eyes that light up are really good. Um, the only thing negative which really kills this prop for me uh, it's three hundred dollars uh, is the the voice it doesn't match the clown at all I think it's super cheesy it's kind of like a redneck hillbilly kind of voice which just doesn't fit the clown facade uh, I really think they missed the mark on the voice there um, which sucks because again it's three hundred dollars you shouldn't have to change something on, on a prop that's so expensive um, granted, there are 20% off coupons, so keep those in mind. I'll go over those real quick at the end of the video. Um, but, man, I really would like to see that one. I think that's also an online only, which kind of sucks, but I think they are putting some other clown ones in stores uh, that are actually brought back. So I don't know why they didn't put this one being new, but it could just be a space thing again. Um, Next one is Angeline. Now this is another one that some people may be surprised that I put kind of higher up on the list. Uh, some people don't think she's really scary. I think her face actually kind of looks like silicone, so it's not like a vacuform plastic kind of look. 
Um, the mouth movement is a little off, I think. What I really like about this, like Johnny Punk, he comes with the swing and Angeline comes with the tombstone, so it's kind of a complete set. You don't have to design your own thing. I got a uh, electrocution guy from Spirit before and he didn't come with any chair, so you kind of got to set your own thing up with him. But with these, uh, it's a full prop setup. You don't have to do that, so I think that's kind of cool. Um, I think she gives off a creepy vibe. I don't know she's nothing super special to me, but I think uh, overall it's a decent prop. It's not the worst, not the best, but I don't think it's bottom of the list. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Angeline. Um, next is the Harvester of Souls. I think a lot of people put this more towards the top of the list. Um, it's $2.99. Uh, I think the unique factor on this is really cool. Um, the girl that the harvester is holding, her head moves up, and then the use of a small vacuum with lighting and fog, I think it really adds a unique design. I haven't seen anything like it, so I think they get an A-plus for unique factor. Um, but for $300, you're not getting really anything else. It doesn't say anything, which I don't know. I guess the prop doesn't have to say anything for what it is, but uh, it just seems a little pricey for what you're getting. Um, but it's not a bad prop. Next one is Ellie Hatchet. This one I'd have to worry about longevity. Um, the axe swinging down kind of is quick. And I actually had a prop that broke that was pretty quick it was a zombie behind a tombstone and it'd pop up quite violently and it ended up breaking within like the first two hours of owning it and i took it back and they said that was actually the worst prop for breaking um they were all sold out of it because it was super popular but it kept coming back because it kept breaking so i would worry about longevity um alley hatches i don't really care for i think um the bottom kind of mid waist looking deals kind of square looking i don't know i think they could have made that a little more form fitting if you will it doesn't look like she has legs is what i'm saying um i think the axe is super cheap looking i mean this thing looks like a dollar tree axe that they put in their hands it doesn't look sharp at all super cheesy i don't really get the whole chopping the wood thing in the video um maybe putting a severed hand or something there would have been better but uh, you can do it with what you wish, uh, if you were to get it, obviously, but I don't know if they were trying to censor kind of the gore factor out again, because their target market, uh, includes younger kids, but, um, yeah, it just, that one doesn't really do it for me, um, but she did kind of make higher than some of the other ones, granted, uh, some of these on my list can easily move up or down a few spaces, this is just kind of a generalized deal. Um, let's see here. I'm not getting all of these popping up. But the next one is the Hauntress. This is another one where longevity I would be worried about. Uh, the scare factor on this is really good, but it pops out kind of quick. Which, you know, you need a quick pop out to get a scare factor, but... I feel like this could end up breaking fairly quickly. Um, I guess only time will tell, but it's uh, 5.4 feet at 120 bucks. The, the face with the name being the Hauntress and the backstory doesn't click for me. It doesn't mesh, doesn't really make sense. I didn't read the backstory in all of these, but this one I did because it just didn't make sense to me. Um, this is kind of just a blah prop for me. I'm probably not going to get it, but um, the price is right for what you're getting. Uh, moving on here. This is another one that a lot of people seem to like, and I just didn't seem to care for it very much. Um, and that is the three and a half foot night crawler. Um, I'll give them unique factor. It's 200 bucks. I don't really care for the face. Um, and honestly, at some angles, 
I don't know if you can see that very well, but the back of it kind of looks like a baboon's butt to me. Um, <laughs> and as funny as it may seem, it's a Halloween prop. It shouldn't look funny. It should be scary um, unless you're going just for a funny kind of a haunted house or look at your house, which kind of defeats the purpose in my mind. It's uh, supposed to be a scary kind of holiday, so I don't know to each his own, but it just doesn't do it for me. It's kind of like sticks with a head mounted on it and a baboon's butt. So I don't really care for it. Um, I think it also resets kind of slow, so. Um, next is the Plague Doctor. That's 7.4 feet. That, I didn't realize that one was so big. Um, on the animatronic 2020 page that they have they don't have a height on this so i didn't think it was that big but this one actually uh, surprised me with the height on there uh it's 229 uh you're getting two points of fog it comes out of his hand where he's holding the staff as well as his mask i think the overall look is kind of cool um the robe looks a little cheap to me uh there's not like no tears or anything uh no staining it just looks kind of like that foam, thin foam with uh, super thin material over the, the top of it. I actually watched a video of a guy who set up the butcher at Spirit, and he said his shirt and pants were actually made of that stuff. Um, it just kind of looks cheap. You know, in the dark, you may not know it, but um, this review isn't on the dark. It's on the animatronics when they're in the light. So... I don't know it, it's nothing special it's kind of cool but again this could move up a little bit it could move probably not down but it could move up a couple spaces um, next up is the gatekeeper yeah, nothing special it's 170 bucks um, the audio is good on it it kind of matches the figure honestly the uh, the garb that is wearing kind of looks like a tablecloth from grandma's house uh, the doilies on the end there just look like somebody did that parlor trick where they pulled the tablecloth out and everything stayed on the table, but then they threw it on this thing. It kind of just looks cheesy. Again, at night it may not, but in the light it looks cheesy to me. It's kind of just blah. Um, but uh, next up here is... Little Daisy and the Maestro. Uh, six and a half feet, $300. Um, you know, yeah. For me, the mouth movement on the Maestro doesn't match at all. It looks like his jaw is just kind of twitching, um, which is kind of lame. Uh, I think the string placement should have been put inside of like her fingers as if they were sewn into her fingers. I think it's kind of weird. Uh, it does look like there's lights underneath the uh, the wooden kind of puppet things that he's holding. So at night it might light up, which is cool. The girl doesn't say anything. She moves back and forth. It doesn't have a scare factor for me. It doesn't have a creepy factor for me. It's just an oversized prop. Um, so I kind of missed the mark. Uh, next up. This one will also be surprising to some people that I haven't hit this already. Um, if we can find him. I don't see him. Anyway, I'm not going to spend time looking for him. It's Krampus. Um, I actually haven't watched the video on it. For me, um, a creature, spirit, whatever he's supposed to be coming out at Christmas time isn't scary. I don't really care for the... Um, not design, but the, the thought of something scary coming out at Christmas. Uh, it just doesn't do it for me. I don't know. It, the prop doesn't say anything. It's $350. I don't know if they're putting that in stores or not. I really would like to see the Wailing Phantom rather than that in stores, being that it's also $350. Um, I don't know. It might look close to the, uh, the real thing, but for me, it's just an oversized prop. It does look really big, which is cool, but uh, it's expensive for what it is, honestly. Um, again, the coupon will bring that down a little bit, but 
I don't really care for the prop in general. Uh, next up here is Mr. Salty. That's also $350. I really hope they don't put this in store. Um, unique, maybe, but it really doesn't doesn't have a wow factor. Um, doesn't pop out. He opens up his jacket, and uh, it's slow, so it doesn't give you a scare factor. There's no pop-out factor. Um, the look of it's, I don't know, generic to me. I don't really care for it. It's kind of weird, um, and the price just really kills it for me. So, although I love clowns, I don't really care for that one. Uh, which brings me to my last one here, which again is a shocker to me. I feel like a lot of people love this thing. I'll actually quick view it. Which yes, it is the Peekaboo Clown. So it's two nineteen. Um, I'll full screen this for you guys. So the eyes are this kind of hypnotic, twisting, kind of almost like a screen. So it's not uh, like plastic molded eyes with a light behind it. It's like a screen behind there that gives you this weird psychedelic kind of twisting of the eyes, which is cool. Other than that, I don't really get the prop in general. I don't care for the color scheme. That's just personal. Um, the blue, orange, and green doesn't really do it for me. I don't really get the face, a zombie kind of clown thing. Uh, I didn't read the backstory on this, but uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. The missing teeth is kind of goofy. It's not scary. Um, and what really does this for me is I'll go back here. This was easily the worst prop of 2020 for Spirit. Uh, the $220 price tag, I think they're really gouging it for 20 bucks. Um, the Butcher outdoes this thing by miles. Uncle Charlie outdoes it, Fleshing Zombie. All these props that are $200, $210 outdo this thing. So you're not getting anything more special other than the eyes with this prop than you would with another one. So I don't get the whole $220 price tag on it. And there's the sayings there. Um, the voice is dumb. Honestly, it's just dumb. Um, where did everyone go? I can't see, I can't see. Because I had my eyes closed. Well, duh. Um, and then he says blah right after it, which is just stupid. I don't get the whole deal with this thing. I mean, they really could have made this a great prop if they would have thought out the sayings a little better. But it not only says blah in one, it says blah in another one. Uh, the one down below, it says, oh, Halloween is so frightening. I can bear to, can't bear to watch scary things. I'm such a sensitive soul, blah. What is that? Spirit, come on. That isn't scary, that's stupid. Th this prop actually makes me angry at how dumb it is. Uh, the sayings are just terrible. Um, the movement isn't at all fast enough, and I don't think they were going for fast. Um, but I think the sayings are stupid. The voice matches the stupidity, I'll say that. But it's just a terrible prop. Um, I, I really hope this thing is in, in stores, but I imagine it will be. Um, Anyway, that is my list for the 2020 uh, props from Spirit Halloween. I'm going to move quickly over here. So with a 20% coupon, you can see here, for the top ones that are 350 are actually paying 280 so it's not that bad. Uh, for me, the butcher is 200 so I'd actually be paying 160 so... Keep in mind they do have those if you're looking for multiple props, maybe do uh, or you and someone else goes in the store and uh, you purchase thing on, I don't know, separate cash transactions or separate car transactions, but you can both use the 20%. Um, that way you can maximize your savings. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Didn't want to make it too long. It's already getting to half an hour or so. I'm going to sign off here, but I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully it helped out, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, the future of this channel is going to be going at least 
one of the avenues is going to be Halloween related. I'm actually making my own Halloween haunted attraction. So I'm going to be making videos on how to props, DIY animatronics, things like that. I do plan on going to the Trans World Halloween show in St. Louis. Uh, that would be really cool. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.